Hey everyone, I hope you all had a wonderful week. Last time we made this cool latitude shader, and going off of that, today we're going to make a longitude shader. I'm going to expand on last week's video, so if you haven't watched that, go do that now. Before we dive in, please remember to comment, like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. A link to my GitHub repo where you can download this project for free will be available in the description below. To start, right-click in your project file, make a new PBR shader graph, name it Longitudes, and double-click it to open it up. We're going to need two new exposed vector 3s. This is the up axis and the meridian axis. Default the up axis to 0, 1, 0, and the meridian axis to 1, 0, 0. Next, we're going to need a position node set to object mode. And similar to last time, if you'd like a custom origo, now's the time to create it and subtract it. We need to use the cross product to map our vectors into a flat plane. Up cross the meridian will give us our zero degree vector on a circle, whereas up cross any arbitrary point will give us that vector in that exact same plane. Let's execute that in shader graph. Up cross the meridian and up cross the position. The cross product will ruin our normalizations, so go ahead and normalize the values coming out. To calculate the angle between the two vectors, I'm going to use the same math that I used in the last video. Take the dot product of the two vectors, which would be a value between negative 1 and 1, and take the arc cosine of that and convert it from radians into degrees. Next, we need to know how many degrees are between each longitude line, so create an exposed vector 1 for that. I default mine to 20. The math here is identical to what we did in the last video, so let's just use a subgraph. Open up the latitude shader, convert these nodes into a subgraph, clean up, and save. I like to clean up the subgraph as well. Now bring the subgraph into the longitude graph, and you can see our longitude lines. Next, we need to add thickness to the lines, so create an exposed vector 1 for thickness in degrees. Again, this math is exactly the same as the latitude graph, so go ahead and convert the thickness nodes into a subgraph and bring it into the longitude graph. As you can see, subgraphs are kind of like functions for shader graph. Now let's add some color, emission, and alpha. I create two color nodes, base color and emission color, and be sure emission color is set to HDR. Multiply our lines with the base color, set that out to albedo, then multiply the colored lines with the emission and set it out to emission. You can also connect the black and white lines to the alpha and set the master node to transparent, and if you'd like, check the two-sided bool. Now we have the basic longitude lines. Neat. Just like last time, it would be cool if we animated them. If we go ahead and use the same method for animation that we did in the last graph, a problem will become pretty apparent. See how each side is moving in an opposite direction? This is because we don't determine what side of the meridian each line is in, but we can fix that with some math. We already calculated the small angle, so we can calculate the big angle by subtracting the small angle from 360. Now that we know both the small and the big angle, we need to cancel one of them out by multiplying it by 0 and the other by 1 and then adding the result. The question is, which do you cancel? By taking the dot product of our 0 degree vector and the position, we can determine that a positive value is on the left side of the meridian while a negative value is on the right side. Remember, the dot product is a value between negative 1 and 1, so take the ceiling to make it an integer, then clamp it between 0 and 1. Now, if the angle is to the left of the meridian, it will be a 1, and if it's to the right, it will be a 0. So just multiply the small angle so that we can cancel out the position when it's to the right of the meridian. Because we want the large angle to have the opposite done to it, use a 1 minus node to flip the clamped value, then multiply that with the large angle. Great, now everything's moving in the same direction. Looks really good. I'm just going to create a material of this and put it in the scene really quick. Cool, now we can see both the latitudes and the longitudes next to each other, and even play around with the rigos. But it would be awesome if we could compile the two together, right? Well, we can just convert both graphs into subgraphs. Unfortunately, when you do this, Unity makes a mess of your exposed properties, so I'm just going to clean them up and relink them. Once you have both the latitude and the longitude converted to subgraphs and everything cleaned up, just duplicate one of the graphs and double click it to open it up. This is where we compile the two. So just go ahead and drag in the missing of the two graphs. I've created a few exposed properties so we can define different values for the latitude and longitude lines. They can share as many or as few of these properties as you'd like. 
To mix these two together, let's use three blend nodes and set them to lighten. Link up the color, emission, and alpha channels, and then output them to the proper points in their master node. Now to just create a material and put it in the scene. Awesome, looks great. So that's how you make a latitude and longitude shader. Thanks for sticking around. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with using this technique. Special thanks to my patrons on Patreon. You guys are truly amazing. If you'd like to see your name here on this list or on my stream, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Stop by my live stream on Twitch, Wednesday through Saturday, 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific. Join my Discord community and chat with other developers. If you like my work, check out my assets on the Unity Asset Store. Head to my itch.io page to play my games and asset demos. If you've made it to the end of the video and you haven't liked and subscribed yet, go do that now. Thanks for watching.